Mark, another uh, important night on the way to the cup meeting uh, tonight. And uh, self-assured, you'd be happy with the way he began? Yeah, very happy with him, Dave. He, he moved up nicely and stepped nicely, so, uh, yeah, I no, was very happy with him tonight. Yeah, well, you were giving him quite a start by the time you recovered from that little bump around the corner. You were giving him, you know, you're a long way from the lead at that stage, so the sectionals that run makes him look pretty good. Yeah, that's right too, Dave. Just a chain reaction from uh, one of them making a break up front and uh, consequently sort of got the worst of it. But, uh, yeah, once he settled down, yeah, he was back in business. And he felt good? Well, you, yeah, uh, right felt, up to the mark. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the time suggests that, but I just want to check on it. And uh, Lazar, um, spank him really good too. Yes, yeah, great first up run. Uh, you know, I was lucky enough to just sit behind him and got dragged right into the race. So, um, a very creditable second. What uh, What are you looking at from here, Mark? Are they go to Ashburton or is there something else in yeah, between? Well, certainly go to Ashburton. There's, there's uh, Metford in between and we'll just assess things over the weekend and just work out a bit of a plan for them. But, uh, yeah, it's possibly they'll go to Metford. What did you make of the fillies, um, Ivana and... Uh, Town Echo, um, Ivana was a very good run parked out like that. Yes, yeah, I, I was back but I could see Timmy up there but Tim said it was uh, a very good run and uh, she, she fought gamely. Uh, the other filly just had no luck at all in running, just a, just a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> right that one off. Yes. And uh, the trotters, well Winterfell uh, had a little gallop on the corner, did he just get distracted there because he ran on again? Uh, you know, we, we've had our problems with him this way round and uh, and tonight I thought he was going to get round it OK. He had about 50 metres to go, but I just, just had to just keep him off uh, the wheel inside me and it was just enough to, to set him off dry. Was he feeling pretty good up till then? Well, he's feeling like he was going to be in three anyway, Dave. Yes, because you did put him in the race, as you said beforehand. You'd like to put him into the race more than he had been before, just that he just yes. nudged a bit at the corner. Yeah, well, we've spent a lot of time with him, so he's got to sort of step up a little bit now. Uh, American Pride, very game run. You'd be very happy with that. Yeah, he's a great trying horse and uh, he's stepped up. He's, he's really only a baby, but he's in a good intermediate grade. It was a nice field tonight and, you know, he, he tried hard. Mm, and enhance your calm. Oh, you haven't had a chance to talk to Natalie about that, but uh, he, he, think things were against him a bit down the back getting into the race. Yeah, I look like I couldn't. No, no, him. he was following. He got <laughs> around uh, Muscle Mountain, but uh, they were just away in front, and, you know. That was, so um, they'll be just lining up uh, at Eddington again, those two? Yes, uh, there's, the, there's, the, there's the mile at um, Ashburton and the Trotters, but uh, as I said, we'll just look at something in between because it's about three weeks away. And just very quickly, uh, on the two maidens on Sunday, uh, do you have a preference for the one or the other? Uh, look, the, the, those, they're just okay. Um, could be a little bit happier with their work, but uh, yeah, Revere's probably just a length behind the other guy, I'd say. But you said that about American Pride, and it went a great race, mate, <laughs> so I don't know about that. Anyway, thanks very much. Good, Good work. Day.